Hello everyone, I hope you're well and I hope you had a wonderful new year. So I entered the new year with a bit of a bang. Um, I became um, an award-winning actor for the first time in my life, in my career. I have become an award-winning actor and when I shared the news online Everyone seemed really surprised. There were comments like, I thought you were already an award-winning actor. I didn't know you hadn't won it before. And there were other uh, very generous comments from people along the lines of, oh, you've only just won now. Uh, Would have thought you would have won um, a long time ago. Nope. Trust me, I am surprised. I was not expecting to win an award at all. Um, I've been nominated for Best Actor um, in a few festivals during the run of Dandelicious, but I'd only ever been nominated. Um, This is the first time I've had an award or an accolade specifically dedicated to um, the acting and you know I won many awards as a filmmaker for a shorter period of time as well I've only been a filmmaker for like a proper one for about five years six years now actually um, now that we're in the new year but as an actor this is my 15th year and I've only just won And a lot of people, you know, with this sort of revelation, um, a lot of people were curious to know what I thought, how I felt about being this now award-winning actor. And um, I thought I'd make a video and share my thoughts and feelings. And I know there are going to be people who are watching this thinking, fuck's sake, Andrew, it's not the Oscars, chill. I know it's not the Oscars, but you've got to apply the context. In my case, this is 15 years in the making, and I didn't expect it. I did not expect to win at all, Um, not just for Dandelicious, but any work as an actor. I was never expecting to win an award or accolade because I was sort of... This is all relevant to the story I'm going to tell. But uh, I was sort of conditioned to believe that I could never be uh, of a award-winning calibre. So, yeah, I'm as surprised as everyone else is. So, throughout the last 15 years... Um, I will be very honest, I will be very candid, I think it's very important and healthy to be transparent about um, oneself, but uh, my career has been very, it's been very hit and miss, Um, I've had many hits, um, such as Dandelicious, Um, some of the more recent examples being like the Moondogs for example, as Brian Epstein, um, that's been very, very successful. The Diary of an Airing Girl, even though that was on a much smaller scale, it still did really well and it got me out there. There's been many things I've done um, that were very successful. Even um, Forward Slash Jobs, I know that's not a popular series. Um, it's very, very indie, very DIY, but you know, people raved about my performances. Um, It's been a while. Robert Hampton? I can't remember. But, you know, I've had had hits and then I've had many misses in my career. I've had, you know, many productions where it wasn't very good. Um... And it didn't put me under a good light as a brand. 
And on the other hand, there's been times where I've been in productions that weren't particularly very good, but um, my performance was highlighted. But because of the production not doing well, no one really... Um, I don't know, no, no one really picked up on on me. And, yeah, it's been very hit and miss. So, yeah, the last 15 years, it's been a bit of a blurred line in regards to consistency or lack of. And there's not been enough to, for people to sort of latch on to, to sort of, I guess, see me as um, worthy of awards or to be in that sort of league of awards. So, yeah, that's something I'm very open to admit now um, as I've gotten older and as I've become more humble um, as you do when you when you grow up. You, yeah, you, you look back and you think, actually, a lot of it's been hit and miss. There's been a lack of consistency in my career. But there were also a lot of people who would say comments looking back in hindsight um may not have had my best interests at heart that would tell me that i would never be of a caliber or worthy of um an award or accolade or even being considered for one and i think it's just naivety on my part really there was a lot of people who said that and I listened and too many of the wrong people were saying things like that to the point where I was, as I said earlier, conditioned to believe that I could only ever be so good and I could only ever get so far in my career. So to, I mean, to be nominated four times for Best Actor is um, a shock to me. To actually win one, I'm very surprised and taken back. It's not just, um, you know, critics of mine. I think critics of mine are, are shocked just as much as I am. <laughs> I think it's the only time we've ever been, uh, ever been on the same page. When I started to get nominated over time uh, throughout the journey of the film festival run of Dandy Delicious, I was very taken back, but I, I was happy, I was proud. I thought, okay, that's a step further than I thought I could ever be. Probably as far as it's going to go as well, so I'll take it. <laughs> I, was, I was grateful. And then late December, I got a notification that I had been nominated for a variety of different awards had been nominated for uh, Best Director, Best Actor in a Feature Film, and Dandy Delicious was nominated for Best Narrative Feature. And of course, the wonderful Jade Mark was nominated for Best Supporting Actress in a Feature Film, which is well-deserved. Uh, Jade Mark was excellent to work with, very talented, and uh, such a bright future ahead as well. I found out on New Year's that I did not win Best Director. Dandy Delicious did not win Best Feature. They were still nominated, which is excellent. It's another laurel to add to the poster. And I didn't win Best Actor in a Feature Film, but I did, however, win another award, which is for uh, an outstanding performance in a feature film, which, I mean, even now, it's still... It's still strange, it's still bizarre. I'm still let, letting it sink in. I'm still processing it. It doesn't quite compute with me just yet. And the reason for that is, as I explained before, when you've been conditioned by the wrong people to think a certain way about yourself as an artist, um, it's like getting compliments from someone. You know, if you're conditioned by a toxic person to think a certain way about yourself, 
you could receive the best compliments in the world and you won't believe it, it just won't compute. Very similar feeling here, you know, professionally speaking, people over the years telling you that you're, I don't know, not worthy of anything and then all of a sudden you're, you know, a standout in a film festival as as a an actor. Um, it hasn't quite sunk in at all. But I don't take it lightly at all. I'm very grateful. So I'd like to thank the film festival um, for seeing something in me and the panel for believing in me. This could be the only time it happens in my career. So I hope for those watching, you understand that I'm really happy. I deserve it. And I think that's... Um, I think that's a big thing to say, and I think saying things like that can make you subject to criticism from smaller-minded people, but I deserve it. It's, um, whether, the, whether, I, whether I deserved it over the last 15 years or not is um, a different question. Art is subjective, I guess, but uh, right now, at this moment... Um, I, I have enough self-worth. I know my worth enough to know that, yeah, right now, at this moment, I deserve it. And I want to thank everyone over the years for um, supporting me and for believing in me and just being phenomenal and kind I've learnt a lot and I'm very humble but before I go I just want to leave some advice for not just artists but for people as well something that I've learned especially in recent years and especially with this um, sort of event that has just happened that's just occurred and that little thing is, in regards to just plain criticism, a little thing I've learned is consider the source. If someone is giving you criticism and it doesn't feel very constructive, a little thing I've learned is consider the source. Who's saying it? Why are they saying it? What are they going to gain from it? What's their motivation? Some people are going to have your best interests at heart and give you constructive criticism. For me, I listened to the wrong people for many years who didn't give me any constructive criticism at all and just gave me criticism. And I thought I wasn't worthy of any award as an actor. But Sometimes if you work hard enough, you surprise yourself. But on that note, I would like to say a huge... Just a huge thank you to everyone. I've entered the new year with a bang, but now I've got to persevere. Now I've got to move forward and be as strong and as persistent as I possibly can. And make it count. Everyone, thank you very much. And I hope you have a wonderful 2023. Thank you.